Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this video series where we're going to talk about budget impact analysis and health technology assessment. In this video, we're going to give an introduction to budget impact analysis and provide a simple model of budget impact. Let's go. So what is budget impact analysis? So first note that most policy instruments are not numeric, like taxes or interest rates. Rather, they're questions of whether governments, insurance policies, or other third parties will go and pay for something. Budget impact analysis can be thought of as thinking about what would happen if you lent someone your credit card. How big will that bill be? The policy variables in working health economics questions are what would happen if we decide to add this drug to a list of treatments that we, the government insurance company or other third party, will go and pay for? We can think of this analogously as how adding a new item to a menu of things that you'll go and pay for impact your overall budget. And some of the results might surprise you because it's not always increasing. Now, just a couple comments about budget impact analysis. Budget impact analysis is, for the most part, highly stylized. That means we're going to be going and picking a lot of values, almost all of the values, uh, usually implemented in the context of a spreadsheet and very a theoretical. The methods used in budget impact analysis will be ones informed by considering changes in treatment mixes and specific target population. I think it's particularly important to know about this tool as it provides insight on what working health economists use regularly in a policy environment. Now, let's go and look at you know this standard, you know, budget impact model here, right? I made two tables, right? You could go and put this in Excel or whatever. And this approach is referred to as the Carhaus calculator approach. We define a menu of treatment plans or drugs used to treat a particular ailment we're interested in. And we consider two scenarios. So we have our first scenario, right? Where we're gonna be looking at the mix, right? Of drug A, drug B, and drug C used with respect to their particular unit costs over the number of patients that are going to go and use them. Now, the target population, which is going to be denoted by N bar here, right? That is going to be something which is uh, going to be fixed across our whole list here, right? Again, you know, in a dynamic model, we could go and consider uh, this growing uh, to a certain extent. But what we're going to be considering is how our mixes here, which are going to be our theta terms, right? will go and change. That would be the percentage of, you know, drug that is going to be used on each time or number of people that are going to be used it or percent of the target population more specifically now in each of these scenarios right we're going to have a corresponding budget or expenditure that's associated with it now we're going to call this b1 and b2 and in this case we're just going to go and sum up right the costs that are borne by each one of these scenarios so in scenario one Right, we would go and consider the amount that's being paid for for those using drug A, those using drug B, and those using drug C. Um, and likewise in scenario two. And from there, we can go and derive this incremental budget impact, right? And that's the thing that we're going and looking for. We're looking at how adding this new drug C would go and change our scenario, right? Or, you know, some other mix would go and change things. Now, the, here's like a worked example of budget impact analysis using the cost calculator approach. We go and we have our list of drugs and we have the number of patients that are on each one of these. Now, the number of patients is going to be defined by a total population that is affected, right? And the proportion that is there is going to be on drug A, drug B, or drug C. Um, and what we'll go and have what we'll go and have in, in this approach is that we're going to go and add up the total cost that's associated in each scenario. And what happens here, right, is that we'll go and see that if we go and we see a 5% shift, right, to drug C, right, 5% of that population, right, we actually end up with a cost saving scenario, right? So if we have a negative budget impact, that means we're going to have a budget saving that we go and have. So this is... Um, a very simple and though highly stylized approach to budget impact analysis. In the next video, we're going to be going and working in the same theme of highly stylized and um, highly characterized type of budget impact analysis, this time over time. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.